Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you've had a really good week this week. Down here in the southwest of England, we've had so much rain. It's been quite torrential some days, so I haven't really been able to get up on the plot and do as much as I would have liked to have done this week. So what I've been concentrating on instead is doing some sowing of seeds. I've been following uh, Charles Dowden's calendar for the vegetables because I said I would try and focus more on the vegetables. So we've done some cauliflower seedlings, uh, some beans, uh, three different types of flowers. I've done nasturtiums and marigolds and some echinops. So, and we've done potatoes, we've chipped potatoes. So there has been a little bit more action on the vegetable front. But today what I'd like to do is think about some of the most beautiful flowers you get around in sort of early, late spring, early summer. And that is ranunculus. So my little job for today is to prepare these and get them ready for sprouting. So we're going to go through that today. This video is kind of for my mum. She's bought some of these as well. I've never planted them before. So I said I would do this one to show her how we do it. So it's kind of hard to believe that something as beautiful as this starts life looking like this. So it's a really, the corms are really sort of dried up, look like little octopuses. And at the top, we've got this. And to get these started, what we need to do is to pop them in to soak in some tepid water, sort of lukewarm water, for about four hours. And there's different advice. Some say it should be done under running water to prevent the buildup of bacteria, but I'm not leaving my uh, taps running for four hours. So here's how I do it. To hold all the corms together, I have one of these little organza bags, a gift bag. I got this, these off of Amazon. It wasn't very expensive for a whole bunch of them. Or you could use a laundry bag, wrap them up in a tea towel, piece of muslin cloth, cheesecloth, anything like that. Just pop them in the bag, do it up, and then place that into the bowl of water and leave that to soak for a good four to six hours. And what they'll do is they're going to soak up all that water, plump up a little bit, and then we can move on to the next stage. Okay, so it's been just over four hours now. I didn't change the water, but I know some people will change the water frequently just to try and prevent any bacteria affecting the corms. Um, but I'm just going to show you, they have changed quite a lot. So you can see with this one, it's pretty much doubled. I mean, they're much bigger, much plumper. They've taken up a lot of that water. And so now what I'm going to do is just plant them up. Uh, I'm just using regular potting compost for this and it's a peat free one. moistened the compost um, but then I won't be watering. I didn't do too much in there because I don't want them to rot. So I'm just popping one in each little module. I do, I did love my soil blocker. I, I used that the other week. I have a video about that. I really like using the seed blocker but I have got these trays and I'm going to finish using them the duration of their lifetime until they're broken. Which is which? I have pale pink, I have a deep kind of burgundy and I have white and I'm just going to plant them all together in a big uh, drift of Brinunculus. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover them up with a little bit of compost now I've got these in there in the trays, I'm going to pop them into a, a cool place. They don't need light at this stage. I'm going to leave them there for a couple of weeks. I will check on them just to check they're not rotting. And then hopefully we'll see some shoots in a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to transfer them under my grow lights. Now, light has been a problem this week for me. Um, it's still so, it's so dark, it's so gloomy. Um, and I think I really feel I need some advice with my next thing. 
I feel fairly confident with my flower game. I, I'm quite happy what I'm doing with most of the flowers. I find those easy to deal with, but vegetables, as you know, it's not a strong point. Now this week, uh, Nick and myself, we did plant some more seeds. We've done some cauliflowers and some beans, um, some basil as well, and some salad leaves. But I would really value your opinion. I'm gonna show you, I think, I don't know if I can save them, they look a little bit leggy. So, utilising the last window sill in the house, we've uh, I've, I've got this little sh couple of shoe racks from Ikea and I've uh, stacked them up. And what we've got in here is we have uh, some little dwarf beans, which are popping up nicely. Basil, which hasn't put in an appearance yet. And these are some salad leaves. I don't remember what they are. Might be mustardy leaves. But look, this is my cauliflower. Now, these poor little things, they've popped up. I didn't have another grow light, so I've just put them in the window, but it's been so cloudy. I don't know if these things are redeemable. Oh, should I throw them? Should I start again? I don't know. I've ordered another grow light. Um, so I don't know if I should just bin this lot and start again. Please let me know. Okay, so although my cauliflowers are not looking too hot over there right now, they, they might be a bit of a fail, might need to start again. Something that has worked out really nicely are my snapdragons. I want to pinch them out so that the stems, instead of growing up one flower shoot, they'll start to branch out so that I'll get multiple flowers off of one stem. Um, I'm not gonna throw the bits I pinch out away. I'm actually gonna use those. I'm gonna pop them into some rooting powder and I'm gonna pop the little cuttings in a tray and see if I can get some roots going so that I'll effectively double my plants. So if I can't fit them all up on the allotment and in my garden, it's gonna be something I can give away to my friends and my family so they can grow them in their garden as well. What I'm going to do is if you look at this one, we've got uh, one, two, three, coming up to our fourth set of leaves that we're growing now. So I'm gonna cut just above the second set of leaves there. Um, and the scissors I'm using, I've cleaned those because obviously you don't wanna contaminate. So cut that one off. I'm gonna snip away the extra leaves because we don't need those. Pop it in the rooting powder and stick them in the tray. And just give them a little squeeze so they got contact with the soil. I was pinching them out. I've got nothing to lose by trying to see if I can root the bits I've pinched out. I couldn't use all of them. Some are quite small and I just, I don't feel confident they're gonna make it. So they're now in watered compost and I'm gonna pop the lid of the propagator over those and pop them back on the windowsill and see how they get on. So here they are. This is now my fourth tray of snapdragons. So hopefully, I'm going to have a ton of beautiful flowers up on the allotment and with a bit of luck, some decent cauliflowers as well. Let me know what I need to do about that.